Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. If this is the first video of mine you've watched, thank you for stopping by. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, thank you for coming back. It really means a lot. So, in today's video, I will be going over my budget as well as cash stuffing my income for the first week of April. So, move everything to the side. And as I mentioned in my last video, I got paid a day late um, because of some issue with the paying system. So I am going to put the date um, I was originally supposed to be paid just for the ease of things. So I got paid on the 4th and I got paid £147.54. Moving on now to my cash envelopes, I'm going to be putting £10 in petrol, £10 into books and £10 into spending. And then eating out is going to be getting five, clothes is going to be getting five, beauty is going to be getting five and miscellaneous is going to be getting five. So that is £30, £40, £50. Moving on now to my sinking funds. So next year, no pay is going to be getting £10. Next year, birthdays is going to be getting £10. Next year, Christmas is going to be getting £10. Then retirement, emergency, future and future home, they're all getting £10. So that is £10, £20, £30, £40, £50, £60, £70. And then I have allocated £25 for my savings challenges this week. So that is a total of 145, let me double check. Yeah, 145, which leaves me with a buffer of two pounds and 54 pence in my bank account. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stuff my cash envelopes. So my miscellaneous full envelope did have five pounds in it. But I did spend that um, a couple of pounds from that earlier um, before I got paid. So I'm going to add the next five in and yeah, count it so that I added the five before I spent the five. So there should be ten in there, but really there's only five. Beauty has twenty. It's getting a it's getting a five, so it has twenty five. clothes has 20 it's getting a five so it now has 25 as well eating out has 15 and it's getting a five so it now has 20 pounds but what i think i'm going to do is i'm actually going to swap two of these fives for a 10. So there we go, it still has 20 pounds. Although that might mess me up a little bit later when I come to do my savings challenges. Spending doesn't have anything and it's getting 10 pounds. My books cash envelope has 40 pounds it's getting 10 so it now has 50 so I might go and treat myself this weekend and then petrol has 40 pounds it's getting a 10 so it now has 50 pounds which is good because my car's on about halfway and the price of fuel or petrol and diesel um, has been going up a lot. So I think it will take me more than £25 to get half a tank, which it normally, my car normally costs. Moving on now to my sinking funds. Move this to this side over here. So... 
next year no pay and since I've not got much I'm stuffing I'm gonna fill out pardon me fill out the tracker in this video so it's getting a 10 so it now has 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 pounds so the fourth of the fourth plus 10 pounds leaves me with 120 Easter next year is fully funded. Next year birthdays has the same as next year no pay, so I'm not going to count it. So it has fourth of the fourth plus ten pounds. That is one hundred and oops twenty. And then Halloween is fully funded for next year. Next year Christmas again has the same amount. So I'm going to pop the £10 in there. Fourth of the fourth plus £10. 120. That is it then for my next year funds binder. Just putting it back with all my other binders to the side and then my long-term sinking funds so retirement is getting 10 pounds so the fourth of the fourth plus 10 pounds and I now have 150 pounds all of these do have the same amount so I'm not going to be counting them Add the money, add the money, fourth of the fourth, adding £10, 150. Future, add 10. Oops. I thought I'd made a mistake earlier, but I haven't. Fourth of the fourth, add 10. So I have 150 and then finally future home is getting my last £10. I do have this here which I was going to track my help to buy ISA but I'm not currently putting any money in there so I'm just going to take it out. So fourth of the fourth adding £10 leaves me with 150 There we go. So that's all of my sinking funds stuffed. Before I move into my savings challenges, I'm just going to flip to my weekly check-ins. So I'm just going to write down how much I have added. So petrol, I added £10. Books I added £10, spending I added £10, eating out I added 5 clothes I added 5 beauty I added 5 miscellaneous I added 5 I didn't add anything to hair and nails and I didn't add anything to digital. My digital spending is currently at £4.05. So we added £50 this week. So that is my budget for this week. I'm very happy with which sinking funds I was able to stuff. So let's move on now to my savings challenges. And I'm going to see if I can stuff some challenges that I didn't stuff in yesterday's video. So we did save 60. I think we'll start with the dice challenge and if I roll a 20 then all of that 20 will have to go in. Can you see? 14. 
so not too bad. 14. And then I would think I'll cross it off after the video because I want to pull this out and cross it off on the insert rather than on the envelope. So there is £14 in my dice challenge. So we now have two fives and, let me move my pen out of the way, two fives and a one pound coin left to stuff. So let us see what we can do with that. We could try a bingo or a save me. This isn't the best post-it note that I put on on my other video. Could have another go at snake or roll on. Let's do roll on. Six pound. There we go, roll on. So roll on is getting six pounds. Where did I put my Sharpie? There it is. So it's getting six pounds. And then we have five pound left, which I'm going to put into rainy day just because it is the next one. Do I? Or do I put it in chip or bubbles? Oh, there's so many options. No, I'm going to do rainy day. <laughs> so rainy day, five pounds. So they are my savings challenges done. Um, I know I've only done two saving challenge stuffings, but I'm really enjoying them and I think they're really fun. So I think definitely, obviously I've got a lot that I'm doing at the moment. Um, I think there's about 60 altogether or 17, um, but I like them. But I'm not going to pressure myself um, into having to put a certain amount in each week um some weeks if i don't get paid as much i might not i might only do one or two um or i might not be able to do any but they're just a fun way and some extra savings to do so thank you so much for watching my video today if you did enjoy please consider hitting that like button below i'd really appreciate it and if you want to keep up to date with my budgeting journey please consider hitting that subscribe button as well it would really mean the world i hope you all have an amazing day thank you so much for watching bye